Hey folks, in this video I want to uh, show you a little bit of the um, subway scene in uh, sort of lit 3D uh, with ambient occlusion. What I've done here is, um, first of all, I've hidden the roof from view and from render because um, I, I'm liking the lighting a little bit better without the roof, uh, for now at least. And the way I did that was uh, I found the roof in my list here, and it's actually under floor and I just selected it and I made it uh, not viewable and I also clicked the camera here so that it wouldn't render alright so I still got it if I want to go back to it but for now I'm not going to um, I've got some lights in here these are not necessarily the final lights by any means uh, I'm going to shut them off but you'll see that there's still a little bit of light and that's because I've got an environment texture so I go over to shading here and I switch over to world what I've done is, uh, before I just had this, okay? You, you would normally have background to world output. So I found an HDR uh, image that I like from HDR Haven. Uh, and I um, also put on uh, these uh, texture coordinate and mapping node. I've got uh, Node Wrangler enabled. So with the, um, the texture here, just selected the image. So if I just copy this, I'll just quickly show you. You could just go Control T. Oops, Control T, and uh, those would come in as well, and that just enables me to rotate it a little bit uh, to get the position or, or change its position in any way. So if I just connect that again, it just provides uh, some light, um, and I, I I kind of liked that uh, that light there, and so uh, you can see it here. It's just that kind of that kind of thing. All right, so then when I went ahead and I added a few lights, and I'll talk about those uh, as well. Um, what I've got uh, here is I've got some, some point lights. I decided I would open up the, the train again. Um, and so I've got some point lights uh, inside the train. And uh, they should be giving a little bit of light. Um, and I've also got a couple of point lights, you know, here. You can just see. You know they're just not very not very bright uh, I may also make lighting fixtures as well so I've got a few of those and I've got a point light down here as well as an emission texture there's not too many textures uh, on here there's just a, a little bit of emission and then black this out uh, this is an emission texture here on that light so I just selected the uh, the bulbs themselves and I went to material and I, I chose you know, I'm, I called an emission, and I chose a color and a strength, and and that was it. And then right below that, I've got a point light here. I made it orangey and 75 watts uh, to create uh, that kind of glow. Um, I've got a couple of suns. I've got this sun here, which is sort of an off-white color with a strength of one, and I've got another sun somewhere else over here. There it is. There's one up here. Uh, very faint uh, just just a few of those things uh, and so I'll just uh, let's see here let's come on in here again so you can see oh and I also put some point lights uh, here at those things uh, and I'm not sure uh, about any of this but I just wanted to, so you could see it um, the other thing is the ambient occlusion itself so I've come over here to make sure that ambient occlusion is, is checked. Um, otherwise, it'll it'll look like this. So with ambient occlusion checked, uh, it's a little bit uh, darker. And you can tell, you can see ambient occlusion around the legs. You know, some people might not like that. That's too much. But, you know, focus on that. It looks okay elsewhere. And it might be a little stronger than some people would like. Um, just to show you the, uh, the node setup for that. Alright, so I'll come back to here. I'll just select anything here. Make sure I'm in object view. And this is it right here. Um, there's the ambient occlusion node, and it's just a shift A input ambient occlusion. Okay, so that's how you get that. And I just connected that through a color ramp. Now, without that, I could just have this. All right, and that's 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 fine. You can adjust it from here, but by adding it to the color ramp, um, you know you can make it really strong if that's what you wanted to do. 
uh, or, or or whatever so you can you have a little bit more adjustment so I just upped it a little bit so there's no interior in the train it would probably look a little bit interesting more interesting if there was uh, but this this is just you know to, to, so we can start to view this thing uh, in in real 3d all right um, so so that's what we have now there is one other thing I should mention uh, to get that render uh, that I've done over here under color management down at the bottom here I've got filmic on under look normally I think it defaults to none let's, let's just have a look at this here you see it's a little bit paler and I chose I don't know I think medium high contrast a lot of people of course would do stuff in post or in uh, compositing but uh, not everyone has Photoshop including me and uh, of course you'd use GIMP but uh, I just I just like the look of that so you could choose you know a different a different look if you wanted and uh, I just uh, I think I have that on because I, I like the look of that all right so uh, that's what the scene uh, looks like um, and uh, I think we're pretty much done the modeling unless we decide to do some interior stuff uh, I should also mention that I put some uh, area lights up here they really don't do anything at this point I think if I animated the train which I might and, and, and you know do a, a little bit of a front and, and a back or whatever and I pulled it out so for example here let's try this here let's uh, select the train and let's move it back what would we see you know we can get a little bit of light let's see if I do uh, a render from there so there's a little bit of light coming through from those area lights up there and I also have an emission texture here I just put on um, for that for that area down in there they're not really projecting uh, light because they're just an emission texture and an EV uh, that's the that's the deal with that all right so let's get out of that and let's uh, move the train back in somewhere around there and yeah we can uh, we can move on 